Hey, boys, these decorations look absolutely great. Okay, guys, let's get these posters up. What do they say? <laughs> uh, it says, Attention, kids, free. This Saturday at the Opera House, a PT-73 drama group presents Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> oh, now do we have to put on that play? We're gonna look awful silly in those cockamamie costumes. That wolf out for itches. All right, all right, knock off the griping. Now, this is our contribution to the festival. And besides that, the kids will get a big kick out of it. <laughs> Attenzione! Oh, Citizens of the Volte Fiore, we have just finished counting the votes for the king of the festival. Oh, grazie for your vote, eh? grazie. Hi, Captain. Uh, I was a little afraid you were going to miss the big announcement, sir. Oh, no, not on your life, Michael. As you very popular assistant mayor, <laughs> I'm proud to announce the winner of the King of the Festival Contest. <laughs> the nominees are... Capitano Binghamton. No! <laughs> and the Commandant de Machel. Yeah! And the winner is. Envelope, please. <laughs> the winner in Voltefiore, <laughs> Commandant de Machel. Yeah! <laughs> Tough luck, Captain. I, I hope there's no hard feelings, sir. Oh, of course there's hard feelings. I'd make a much better king than you. The whole thing is rigged. The fake. The fake. The fake. fake. Carpenter. I could have been king if I wasn't for Mikhail. I have got to get rid of that phony two-bit ballot stuff for somehow. I've got to, I've got to, I've got to. Oh, sir, look out, you'll spill your lunch. Now, come on, let's eat it before it gets cold. Come on now. How look can I eat when I've just been dethroned for heaven's sake? But, sir, you've got to eat something, and you don't have much time. Yeah. That Lieutenant Pratt is due here any minute. King Binghamton. How about that? Oh, yeah. Think how that would have impressed the general. King Binghamton. <laughs> Who's Lieutenant Pratt? What are you babbling about? I don't know any lieutenants. Sir, I already told you. He's the psychiatrist from that hospital ship that landed here this morning. And he seemed very anxious to talk to you, sir. Well, I am not most anxious to talk to him. I've got enough troubles without talking to some quack head shrinker. Now, get this slop out here. Just leave me alone. Leave me please, alone. Please, sir, you've got to eat something. Would you please, just for me, would you eat a little something? Now, look at that lovely minestrone soup. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, no, sir. Look, it looks delicious. Mmm, -hmm. goody, goody, goody. Come on now, sir. Come on. I don't want that. I don't want it. <laughs> oh. Well, this would be not easy, sir. Wasn't it delicious? Now, come on, just a little more. Now, open wide. Open, Carpenter, open. So open. help I... me. Who the blazes are you? <clears throat> uh, Lieutenant Pratt, sir. Medical Corps Psychiatric Team. Uh, listen, I'll, I'll just wait outside while he finishes feeding you. <laughs> He's not feeding me, and go peddle your ink blot someplace else. Now, beat it. <laughs> Please don't shout. See, everybody's always shouting at me, and I, I can't stand that. What is this? We get them all in here. I'm telling you, all right, all right, don't come unglued. See, what do you want? Well, all I want, sir, is a moment of your time to discuss Commander McHale. McHale! 
minutes. You're, you're shouting again. Oh, oh, well, you said the key word. Don't you ever mention that overgrown water rat in front of me again. You get these outbursts off. Well, don't you talk to him. You talk to me if you're talking about me. It's just that Mikhail has turned the people against me. He's poisoned their simple little minds. He's the reason that I'm not king. You want to be king? I don't want to talk about it. Now, you just get out of here. Let me suffer in peace. But, sir, my assignment is to check out all the men in this area for combat fatigue. We're shipping the more serious cases back to the States. You're shipping the cases of combat fatigue back to the States? That's right. On the hospital ship on Saturday. Well, why didn't you say so, doctor? I mean, I, I wouldn't want you to go away empty-handed. I, I may have some customers for you. You may? Oh, our doctor, I think you should take a look at Commander McHale and his men. They've been acting awfully weird lately, but uh, unfortunately, right now, they're out on a long patrol. Oh, but, sir, Commander McHale is on the patrol alone, and right now he... Yes, he's just, he doesn't remember anything, do you? Oh, now, uh, doctor, if you could go away for a few days, and then you come back, I'll have you take a look at them, and I think you'll agree with me they should be shipped out. Well, I have quite a few other bases to visit, but I could come back on Friday and see Commander McHale. <laughs> Almost said that key word again. <laughs> That's all right. Just relax. That doesn't bother me. Mikhail, Mikhail, Mikhail. Mikhail. Mikhail, Mikhail, 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 Mikhail.
Come here, Sean. Here's my feet there, Sean. Come here. Come here. Oh, doctor. Come. Doctor. Oh, get a load of this. Hey, this is exhibit A. I mean, this is the prize bull for the whole litter. <laughs> Chucky, Chucky, wake up, Chucky. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Brad is here. He's going to send you on a nice long ocean voyage across the sea. I'll be the one to make any medical decisions here. Oh. <laughs> All right, Jensen. Let's have a little chat, shall we? You just relax and tell me all about yourself. Well, uh, I was born in Chagrin Falls, Ohio, and uh, I guess I was about 18 months old before I spoke my first words. Dad, uh, Dad, Dad, why are you wasting time on this dumb dumb? It's not a dumb dumb. I didn't say Dad, Dad, till I was almost two years old. How old were you when you started talking? Oh, I was about 10 months. I said, goo goo, very clearly. I mean, he's the one you're examining, not me. All right, then, tell me, Anson. Do you hate your mother? No, no. <clears throat> but I can't stand my Aunt Sophie. You know why? Made me stop sucking my thumb. Ruined my whole Betty by time. I knew he was a thumb sucker the minute I laid eyes on him. I knew that. Well, what's wrong with that? Didn't you suck your thumb? I know. I'm sorry I cuddled my teddy bear, but I... <laughs> Never mind. That's very interesting. Tell me, were you an only child? I smell of your business, why? He's the kook here. All right, I'll be the analyst here, if you don't mind. <clears throat> now, how did Auntie Sophie stop us from sucking our thumb? Well... She burned my baby blanket, that's how. Yes, sir. <clears throat> you ever try sucking your thumb without your baby blanket? It's a big nothing. I know, I know. <laughs> my baby blanket was my best friend, too. He used to call it my gong gong. Gong gong. Called mine Fuzzy Wuzzy. <laughs> Boy, I bet that was neat. <laughs> what color was it? What is oh. it, gong gong and a fire? Well, you stop with the drivel prat and get these ding-a-lings locked up. Captain, this man is as normal as I am. I'll go along I'm with that. I'm inclined to believe that these men are all simply exhausted from the lack of sleep. That's not the case at all. These men are suffering from combat fatigue. They are not normal. They are not normal. Shh, shh, shh. You're going to wake them up now. Let's get out of here. I don't want to get out of here. These no. men are cooks. I want them locked up. Come on. Can't you see for yourself? <laughs> Keep your eyes open, Elroy. This is my last chance to nail those dingbats. Yes, I know, sir. What a shame that hospital ship pulls out this afternoon. I know. Well, I've got to find some way to convince that half-baked, thumb-sucking psychiatrist that Mikhail and his misfits belong on board. Yes, sir. <gasps> Mr. Parker, I, I don't want to be a wolf. All right, you guys, now we're going to rehearse the finale, so come on over here by the tent and line up. Oh, oh right. Right. This is the miracle that I've been praying for. Oh, thank you, Mother Goose, wherever you are. <laughs> so, wait a minute. What are we getting so excited about? Those are only the costumes they're going to wear in their play at the festival. Uh -huh, I know that, and you know that. Yes. But the nitwit doctor, he doesn't know that. Oh, the... You just follow me. Let me do the talking. Keep your yap shut. All right, up uh, higher there, Christy. Hey, don't bend your knees there, Grandma. All right, now shuffle off to Buffalo. Wave bye-bye to the kitty. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.
All right, you men. I'm going to go and get Lieutenant Pratt. Now, the minute you see him, go right into your act. Give it everything you got. Oh, we will, sir. We will. Yes, Captain. Oh, I'll give it everything. Well, hold a little back. <laughs> hey, you guys, there's a truck coming. It's Binghamton and the Lieutenant. How much guys is it? Uh, curtain going up. Fuji, get out of here. It's showtime. All right, man, let's hit it. Wait a minute. Wait for your gun leader. <laughs> Oh, hi! Hi! It's one of my forest friends. Look at there, Doc. What I tell you? Look. I'm going to my grandmother's house. She is very sick, and I'm taking her something to eat. Beware, beware. The big bad wolf is coming. Oh, hi! Those poor sick boys, they reverted to their second childhood. Don't worry, little Red. I shall save you. Oh, I can't stand this another minute. Come on, let's haul him in. Oh, wait, wait. I want to see how little Red Riding can get away from the wolf. That's the most exciting part. Doctor, if you're going to stall around, they're liable to miss the boat. Now, you go get the motor started, and I'll go and get... Oh, listen, you better take off this medical insignia. See, if they know that you're a doctor... Why will it get violent? <laughs> Can't let him know I'm a doctor. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Blood. Wow! 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 Oh, Mr. Wolf, what big teeth you have! Oh, how are we doing, Captain? I are smash, real smash. In fact, Lieutenant Pratt wants to take you with him right now. You mean we're going to start our tour this minute? What a break! Where do we open? Well, I can't tell you that because it's, uh, well, it's classified. That's what it is. It's classified. But I can tell you this. You're going to be very surprised. Very <laughs> surprised. Everybody in the truck. <laughs> Here we go. Up, up, up. Wait for Granny. <laughs> I tell you, Doc, we've got a truckload of fruitcakes here. We better get him to your hospital ship on the double. Yeah. I've already alerted Colonel Wilcox, our chief psychiatrist. He'll be waiting with a padded launch. <laughs> this could be the catch of the year. <laughs> Wait, hey. Boys, 40 and two trap. Hey, Fuj, it's the skipper. Skipper, son, where are you? I'm back here in Volta Fury. Ah, that thing up there, they sent me out in a wild goose chase. I don't know, I think he's trying to pull something. He already pulled it. He and Dr. Fella just left in truck. They shipping boys out on hospital ship. Hospital ship? What for? What does... For how? Why? Red Bottom say they bunch of fruitcakes. <laughs> fruitcake? Oh, no. He what? <laughs> Why, that dirty look? All right, all right. I'll, I'll talk to you later, Fuji. God, darn it, guy. Dino, Paisa. Even eat the queen. What's the matter, Your Majesty? Look, they kidnapped my crew, and you got to help me rescue them, all right? Si, 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 si. Va bene, va bene. Allora, facciamo così. It's oh, mass hysteria. That's the only subject I flunked. Now, you people get out of the streets. I'm going to have you arrested for jaywalking. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, wait a minute, hold it. Hi, hi oh. Captain. Hi, Ed. Oh, Captain, don't be a party pooper. Now this is a festival. Look, get yourself a girl and dance, sir. You too, Lieutenant. <laughs> yeah, you're responsible for this. Now, you get these rabble rousers out of here. Hey, hi, Jeff. How you doing? Hey, what's all the hubbub about? You men get back in the truck. On the double. Get back in the truck. <laughs> I mean, uh, Captain, Captain. He's, uh, oh, Signore, Signore. Uh, sir, uh, the assistant mayor has some news to tell you. <laughs> See, si, Capitano, all of this noise is no riot. Oh. The people, they are hailing the new king of the festival. Yeah. <laughs> but a king, what king? Oh, well, but well, sir, well, sir, well. sir, they, they recounted the votes and you won. Congratulations, <laughs> sir. Senti, senti. 
Long live King Wally the <laughs> First! Hold the kisses! Hold the beats! I don't want them. I don't have time to <laughs> Come on, honey. In you go now. Come on. I'll see Daisy. Get okay. right in there. Here, let me give you a hand. Thank right. you. Better yet. Better yet. Look, why don't you go and look for the colonel? And uh, I'll keep an eye on your uh, patience. Oh, then you know. Good commander. Don't let him get away. Oh, no. I'll be right back, kiddies. <laughs> you nutheads. Boys, you went right into Leadbottom's trap. That lieutenant happens to be a psychiatrist, and they're gonna ship all you guys out in a padded launch. A padded launch? You mean he's not from special service? No. He's a psychiatrist? For all the crummy low down. All right, all right. Now, wait a minute. Come here, will you? Hurry up with the laundry. Here, this is your laundry with uniforms in it. I want you guys to change into them, and I'll explain to you what we're gonna do. Commander? Oh, Commander! The girls arrived, and the, and the uh, command, commander, commander, commander. Ah! Oh, Colonel, uh, Colonel Wilcox. That's right. I got an emergency call to rush over here. Oh well, uh, my name is Lieutenant Commander McHale, sir, and I must admit there have been some strange goings on. Wait, I tell you, I don't have time for all this nonsense. Get your hands off of me! I... Oh, there's the Colonel. I want to talk to the Colonel. Oh, Colonel Wilcox, am I glad you're here to stop that. Colonel, I've got all the patients in the truck right over there, ready for you to cart them off. Will you get away from me? And if I got a collection for you, oh, you wouldn't believe this. I've got Little Red Riding Hood, I've got the Happy Woodsman, and I've got the, the Big Bad Wolf, and, uh... I see. And who are you, may I ask, and what are you doing in that outfit? Oh, oh, there, oh, well, I'm, I'm King Wally the First. I... <laughs> Grab him. Wait a minute. There's nothing wrong with me, Colonel. I'm Captain Binghamton. These people have elected me their king. That's how I'm. Much... <laughs> Tell them, Mikhail. Tell them, Pizons. Tell it. What are you shaking your heads for? I'm the king, I tell you. This is a plot, Colonel. They're all plotting against me. There, there, Your Majesty. Now, your palace guard is going to take you on a nice, restful ocean voyage on your royal barge. I don't want that. I don't... Where is Lieutenant Pratt? He'll explain everything. <laughs> yes, where is Lieutenant Pratt? Oh, well, uh, he was around here just a minute ago, sir. Uh, oh, Lieutenant Pratt? Lieutenant Pratt? <laughs> oh, Colonel, thank heavens you're here! Oh, no, not him, too, and on his first assignment. First assignment? Oh, how sad. Oh, sir, it was terrible. They grabbed me, and they pulled me into the truck, and they had guns and axes. There, there, now, just who are you talking about, sir? Oh, they were all there, the big bad wolf, the happy hunter, little boy blue. Oh, right there in the truck. You listen to him, Colonel, he's talking sense. <laughs> hey, Skip, hi. Oh, those are my boys, sir, my crew. <laughs> but, sir, I tell you, they made me dress up in these clothes. It's a plot. It's a plot, that's what it is. They're all plotting against me. Oh, you can't fool me. You're, you're the big red wolf. And you, you're grandma. And you, oh, you're the real little red riding hood. Go on, tell him, tell him. Yes, tell him, tell him. Now, come along quietly like a nice little king. And you too, little red. We're going to have lots of fun with playing with square blocks and round blocks and making funny pictures out of ink blocks. <laughs> well, I don't know about him, but I'm perfectly normal. So I didn't suck my thumb. What's so terrible? You and your gong gong. Mine was a fuzzy it wasn't even known to me. I have pains. I have pains now. I have pains. <laughs> Do the well. That festival was a blast, wasn't it? Yeah, especially without lead bottom. <laughs> I wonder where old King Wally is now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that hospital ship left here about two days ago. Let's see. They ought to be passing Gibraltar just about now. That's <laughs> <a> nice. <laughs> hey, Chuck, what is it? Uh, I thought it was some German commandos in a life raft. But it's only Binghamton. <laughs> Binghamton? <laughs> it can't be him. Well, he should be passing Gibraltar. Oh, Mikhail, you're really gonna get it this time. <laughs> oh, that's him, all right. That's the big bad wolf. Come on, my little piglets. Let's go to our little red brick house. Come on. <laughs> Don't come back here and die like men, you coward. <laughs> 